Welcome back to Believers and Spectacular Spy Fans to another really awesome Spider-Man PS4 related video. I'm at GDC 2018 with the Chief Brand Officer at Insomniac Games, Ryan Schneider. And this is crazy. We're at the Insomniac booth. There's tons of awesome stuff right behind me. There's awesome panels of Sunset Overdrive, Spider-Man, Insomniac logo looking beautiful. And Ryan was super kind enough to let me interview him, take time out of his incredibly busy day. And I can just just say thank you for everything it's, that you're doing. It's not as busy as you think. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. I mean, uh, we do this for you. We do this for Spidey Squad. Like you guys, I don't, I don't know if you fully appreciate how often we talk about Spidey Squad inside our studio, and almost to the point of like, well, what would Spidey Squad think? You know, it's like we really appreciate the passion and the support that you guys have. And, it just emphasizes how important Spider-Man is to all of us, and we just feel like we're caretakers for something that's far bigger than ourselves. And that just truly means the world to everyone in the Spidey Squad, all the Spider-Man fans, all the Spider-Man PS4 fans, and seeing with the history you guys have done with Sunset Overdrive and Ratchet and & Clank and all your amazing games in the past, we know that you're doing an incredible job. And I know, just so you guys know, there's no new news, <laughs> it's still 2018, but just Sorry. stay patient. Apologies, but hang in the, there. The hang wait, in there. the wait will be worth it for sure. And now that I, we have Ryan here with us, um, I just want to ask you: We're at GDC. Yep. Insomniac has always been at GDC, and this is the 25th GDC. Do you know specifically? I don't know how many GDCs Insomniac has personally attended. Right. Uh, Insomniac itself, we are 24 years old, so we're going into our 25th year. That's crazy. And at GDC now, we are here like recruiting people, looking for That's right. marketing and stuff, and all these different awesome possibilities to go check out for yourselves if you guys are interested. Um, and it's just crazy seeing the community of everyone here uh, at the booth, at Insomniac's booth. It's so great just interacting with everyone here, seeing the people interact with each other, share their same passion for Spider-Man, or just all the Insomniac games, and I love it so much. Well, we love having you here. Uh, we are hiring, so if you are a dedicated member of the Spidey Squad and you want to come inside the circle of trust in Insomniac, right? Uh, GDC is a great place to go and uh, to, you know learn uh, more how we uh, recruit, what makes us special as a studio, what positions we're looking for. Uh, soon we will be looking for uh, folks in QA. That's a great way to enter into uh, our studio. We have a history of, of growing positions that start off in QA and wind up much higher uh, in the organization. So uh, it's a great place to start. Uh, I believe we've got UI positions open, uh, VFX artists, uh, think possibly designers. We're always looking for programmers. So uh, if you are a good programmer, if you've got that scientific mind like Peter Parker, then uh, we are very much interested in having you uh, take a look at our studio. Absolutely. And for you guys wondering, Insomniac is located in Burbank, California, and Durham, North Carolina. Any other studios possibly opening up, or just those main two? No, those, those are plenty. Just wanted to make sure. Those are plenty. Got it. Um, so now, of course, I know there's a lot of stuff you can't talk about. Totally understand. Um, and I, I, I prepared a couple of questions that are sure. easy to answer. Um, just. To start off, and I wanted to ask this question for so long, okay. and feeling that this is, for me, I feel the, the, full, the first fully next generation, truly AAA Spider-Man game that we've ever, ever received. And for you personally, how does it feel knowing that this could possibly be someone's first ever Spider-Man game playing? Because when I grew up as a kid in the early 2000s, I played the first Tobey Maguire movie tie-in Spider-Man game. And that was my first ever video game I ever played. Right. And seeing that as a kid back on the PlayStation 2 was mind blowing to me as four years old. Yeah. It was insane. Seeing this Marvel Spider Man is all the dedication, all the passion that you guys are putting into it. Every time I go on Twitter, yep. seeing how, like you said, everyone in Somniac is a diehard Spider Man fan. The Underoos, of course. Yes. And just I had. had them. <laughs> exactly. I think I had some too. How does it feel just knowing that this could be someone's first time experiencing a Spider-Man game. You know, nobody's ever asked me that, and it is overwhelming because um, as somebody who's been around the block a while, I don't think about Spider-Man all the time uh, in that way of like, what would it be like for somebody's first Spider-Man experience? But, and yet, you know, my daughter's two and a half, and this will be her first Spider-Man experience. And we have all kinds of Spider-Man stuff at home, and she gets excited anytime I bring something home related to Spider-Man. 
I really am educating somebody uh, from that standpoint. But I just feel incredibly grateful that we have the opportunity to bring to life some, something as big as Spider-Man, but something as wholesome as Spider-Man and Peter Parker. Like they, I think one of the reasons they're so popular, uh, either as Spidey or Peter Parker as a character, is they just represent all of us in our own way and our, like our own sense of awkwardness and yet at the same time that we all have the ability to rise to the occasion it's such a great message to share with people regardless if you like games or anything like if we can help people gain a sense of confidence in themselves through introducing them to spider-man then what a great platform to be able to have that um, that great power and responsibility i couldn't agree more and seeing just again from where you guys started with Spyro and yeah. the really like really small studio that happened yeah. in Insomniac and now seeing how far you guys are now yeah. and how big this brand is, is now and how big it's going to be once it releases is just my mind crossed. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's a great question and uh, you know having grown up with the underoos and the toys and the movies and, and the team I mean even the cartoon like even right. that 60s era cartoon like I'm old enough to where I remember when it was on TV in like the you know, 70s and <laughs> it's a huge part of my childhood to be able to pass it on to other people right um, it, it's a highlight of my career that's crazy and I know for a fact everyone who's excited for this game is just gonna be probably sobbing tears of joy when it comes out I hope so <laughs> for a fact it will and that kind of brings into my other question sure. with um, in regards to when you guys are making games as the development process goes on, specifically for Spider-Man, you guys have said that you look at fan feedback or you see what the community is saying just to get yeah. like engaged like, oh, are, are people liking it? Or sure. are they, oh, what are they saying about it? Are they excited? Are they, right. are they interested? How much do you guys, I guess, like take in fan feedback when making a game, not just for Spider-Man, but sure. for any game? Sure. Um, if, like, do you take it like massively like, oh, they said that, so we should probably change it. Like, oh, that's interesting. Well, we're already working on that. It's, like, it's fan feedback question. just keeps coming back and forth. And the Spidey Squad, of course, um, just saying what we think. Uh, what do you guys do in terms of, like, when you give recommendations or suggestions? We, we curate feedback. We look at it. We analyze it. But, like, we have our own vision for what we want yeah. to do as game developers. And the longer we've been making games now, almost a quarter century, like, you hone that instinct really well to, like, decide, well, we know what's going to work to make the best game and, and tell the kind of story that we want to tell. So fan feedback is super important. It's a, it's a good barometer. And it's also, like, when we know what's actually happening versus... When, uh, fans are wondering what's happening it's good for us to know like oh yeah we're in sync here or oh that's an interesting perspective we had considered um, we're, we're always like looking at it and as a studio like keep in mind that like, we have so many platforms for fan engagement right. whether it's our live streams or being active on Twitter yep. or Instagram or our Facebook page or you know podcasts back in the day <laughs> so this is part of our DNA um, so yes, we're finally attuned to this, and yes, we listen, but there's a very fine line between being reactionary right. and making sure that the feedback is additive and helpful for us to make uh, the best kind of experience that we have in alliance with our vision for doing it. Right. And I can't agree more, like, of course, it's probably a lot to manage when seeing just thousands, hundreds of thousands of yeah. people just try and suggest things to input in and yeah. saying, oh, this looks amazing, but then something, because you want to please everybody that you yeah. can. And but what you guys are doing so far, it's beyond amazing. Well, one, one step at a time, and uh, <laughs> we're just, uh, we're excited to uh, keep you guys uh, both guessing and then uh, hopefully super happy with what comes next. Absolutely. And I think that goes for, I guess, like the second to last question with fan feedback and making a Spider-Man game out of the entire development process or like since you guys revealed it all the way back in E3 2016, what's been the most challenging thing about the game in terms of, I guess, development or like for marketing or just showcasing the game or trying to keep things secret? What's been the most like difficult thing to oh, I think not it's, show I think us? it's it's definitely like if we would love we're, we're all kids at heart like we <laughs> I would love to be able to sit here and be like oh and this other great thing happened and you won't believe it right. you know oh my god like spoiler 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 <laughs> but I really love my job I really want to keep my job <laughs> right. um, 
so that is by far the most difficult thing. It's like, I know James, like, who's standing over there, like, our community director, right. like, he would love nothing more than, like, on our live streams to be able to just play Spider-Man all day with everybody and answer Spider-Man questions all day long. Absolutely. So, like, you know, there's a process and we have to follow the process and ultimately the payoff is worth it. And that's absolutely fine yeah. with me. And I stay tuned to all the Insomniac live streams. Thank I watch you. all of them. They're always entertaining. Yeah, that's great. We appreciate it. I think we give you call outs every time. <laughs> I see that. And that means a lot to the Spidey Squad that you guys just really do that. Absolutely. It just means so much. Well, your good. passion is infectious right. and, uh, and, and, and in a good way. Contagious. Not, not in a uh, weird sort of, oh my God, there's an outbreak happening kind of way. Like, we really feed off of it and like you know it's a reminder of just how important this franchise is not that we need that reminder right but it's just like i said before it's like we feel like we're caretakers of something that's so much bigger than ourselves and uh and the spidey squad reminds us of that every day right and that's just i think all i wanted to ask you Ryan. sure thank you so much no problem taking time out your incredibly busy day to do this interview and i guess the one final thing I would just say, what do you have just to say for the fans who are just excited for Spider-Man? Oh, yeah. Any final message? I would just say thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience and thank you for your understanding. We would love to tell you all of the details, but uh, I promise, uh, you know, patience will pay off and we love this franchise dearly. Uh, it's our first IP that we haven't created ourselves. You know, Brian Itahar, creative director, like practically jumped off of the couch meeting with Ted to say, we have to do this. And there's, you know, literally hundreds of people, you know, we're uh, almost a 300 person studio that feel the same way, right? Um, just hang in there. We love doing what we're doing. And we, we just, we, we want you to uh, know how much we love it and that great things will be uh, on the way. And I just can't think of any other better developer to have this game in its hands because you guys are doing an amazing job. I can be as patient as it takes, and I just can't wait to see what you guys show next. Thank you very much. And thanks for your enthusiasm and taking the time out of your day to come join us. Thank you. It's been my incredible honor to be here, and you guys are just phenomenal on every level. So thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Ryan. Hey, no problem. Thank you. Peace out, guys. All right, see ya. We're going now. I can edit around it, so it doesn't matter, okay. but it's recording. Yes. Okay. All right.